We are group four and our competition is robot hockey. We have team Chad made of Hayden and David and team Ghost made of Tavis, Eric and Tobin. I am Tobin Reynolds and I am from Sharon, Wyoming. I'm Tavis Alam and I was born in Alaska, moved to Aberdeen and then to Rapid City. I'm Eric from Nassau, Bahamas. I'm Hayden Pazanka and I was born in Colorado Springs and moved to Rapid when I was two. Hi, my name is David Holzberger. I'm from Nyanta, Connecticut. So for our competition, we have the requirements as shown and followed. The battery must be secured secure, securely on the chassis and the whole thing is powered by the batteries. It is also remotely controlled. The puck to the left is what we are using for the competition. The weight cannot be any greater than 15 pounds following the dimensions of a 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch. Actuators are used for our shooting mechanism or any other equivalent method, and the robots must be able to handle contact. Here is our projected timeline where we will have each individual person be assigned to different tasks in order to hopefully follow this timeline through and through, as well as a budget of $50 per person. So some of the design requirements and conceptual design that we've done so far. Um, we're looking to 3D print the chassis, but we're also looking at sheet metal because it's hockey and needs to take a hit. Um, we're looking at an electric solenoid as a shooting mechanism for the puck. Um, the wheels will be powered by a high, tor high torque servo motor and it needs to be remotely controlled. Uh, here are some early designs that we've done so far. Um, we like the idea of a, a, a pneumatic punch uh, to shoot the puck, but uh, it's a bit beyond the scope of this project and it's kind of expensive as well. Um, yeah. And here's a design matrix of the uh, concepts that we've made so far. Uh, for our parts list, uh, we did look up at some wheels and foam wheels. They're pretty cheap online for about six bucks, but we can also 3D print wheels uh, with a 3D print shop. For the servo motors, uh, we have not decided on what we're gonna go with. We did get some motors from Dr. Fekermondi uh, but we are not sure what we're going to use them for yet. So on the right, you can see these are the servo high torque servo motors that we got from Fekker Mondi. Um, we did get four of them, so we can do two wheels per each team. And then, like David said, we're going to 3D print the chassis or use sheet metal. Uh, the 3D print is restricted on size, and it's not as durable as the sheet metal. Also for the battery pack, we'll have a 12 volt DC battery pack that will be attached on each robot remotely. And then for our remote, we're gonna have a transmitter and receiver. This was brought up by Dr. Fekker Mondi to create our own robot uh, controller. Uh, with our own controller, we'll also need a joystick, which we have with Arduino. We could also use a PS4 controller if we decide to not make our own controller. And then we will also need a microcontroller. Okay, and this is kind of the transmitter and receiver diagrams, the circuit diagram for those. Uh, this is the kind of model we're going to be basing our transmitter if we decide to make it, but receiver for sure. Uh, we have two Arduino Nanos, a programmer on both sides. Uh, joy we only need really one joystick and maybe a potentiometer to control throttle. Uh, our battery pack, and then the antenna and transmitter receiver parts, the NRF24L01s. And since we did get those motors earlier, this is kind of a new idea for us. Maybe we make the servo actually have a flipper idea. So it hits two different plates and it hits the puck forward. And then these are the, this is the parts list for a transmitter and receiver. If we decide to make the transmitter, the receiver for sure. So for a public impact, uh, we believe that this project will um, help increase the interest in, in the sport of hockey and robotics. Also help to raise um, interest in sport and robotics and also to demonstrate easy of building a robot, you know, with with um through our limited budget budget and using parts that anyone can get access to and we also hope that um the robotic that we also hope to demonstrate the 
robotic applications in games and recreation. Here's an example of what the competition can entail and look like, but given budget and time, we will see how ours turns out. And for our support and manufacturing, we will be using CM234 and be using uh, Dr. Lally as a resource, as well as for our organization between teams, we will be using Microsoft Team in order to communicate and process decisions and tasks.